Hi, Red Five here. Uh, this is a uh, Monday morning after a weekend of, of mad car booting, buying and selling. In fact, selling was terrible. I think I sold about 10 quid's worth of stuff. But never mind, I bought about £100 worth of stuff. So I thought I need to start putting these videos out because I'm just it's absolutely piling up around my ears. Um, so much Transformer stuff you cannot believe. So hopefully you guys out there that are into your Transformers, you'll like some stuff that you see and we can get some trades going. If not, they're going to go on the wall on the backdrop there um, and they're just going to add to the display of all of my videos. So let's get cracking. So the first thing that I've picked up was this uh, Speed Dial 800. In its box, I mean, a bit knackered, but yeah, mobile phone Transformer. I mean, took about... Absolutely fleecing the uh, fleecing the format for all it's worth, but you know, in its box, unusual Transformers. It had to be bought, and I bought that along with this little chap here, little Megatron. I haven't said before, I like Optimus Prime. You know, he's a nice character, but I think Megatron is definitely my favourite. Having said that, here is an Optimus Prime I picked up. Uh, these two, incidentally, I think I picked up for about 150. Um, so we've got an Optimus. Let's make it easy to transform truck, but nice, big, and chunky. Part I think it's part of the uh, the Rescue Bots range. It's got a button on the top, but it doesn't seem to want to do anything. I'm sure it just sits up like that. Let's sort this out. You can see him. There he is. So we've got that. Then we got from the same lady that I bought Sly, the Thundercat, that I thought was a Masters of the Universe figure. But one of you guys out there very kindly corrected me, told me that it's Sly from the Thundercats. And he's actually one of my more treasured pickups because I think he's really quality until I found this guy Mr. Stay Puff look at that she had all sorts of bits of uh, Ghostbusters figures but he's got to be the one hasn't he and that was a pound but I don't think you can go wrong for a pound with him I don't think so I like it and that's what this is all about this channel is about all the stuff I like hopefully you like and will comment um, but he'll look really cool on the wall so we'll move him out of the way and bring in the next thing which was this now when I found it it was half pulled to bits so I started fiddling with it and about half an hour later I managed to get the thing back together but it is the Darth Vader Death Star and in fact you can just about see him in there because it's missing the top bit anyone out there that's got the top piece or whether or not there was anything that went there, let me know. We would definitely do some trades. Um, but look at that. I mean, that is a serious bit of plastic there. So that was £6. That was probably the most expensive thing I bought at my car boot this weekend. Um, I did buy some bits, Transformer bits, with a hope that by showing them on the videos, you guys we'll be able to figure out which bits are missing or whether or not you need them to complete other Transformer figures that you have um, because I would like to see every Transformer bit at any car boot put back with its rightful owner so that we can actually get some complete figures going anyway so this was the first one which is uh, some sort of I think it's the back of an Optimus Prime um, It is a trailer of some sorts or a command center. So we got that. So like I said, anything that's on here that maybe you guys need or have got that completes him as a figure, let me know and uh, we'll do some deals. So there was that. Then there was this piece. Again, you know, Autobot trailer. I don't know how that works. Um, you know, looks a bit like a car transporter. But he's from a bigger set. 
Um, and it's got some moving sort of platforms inside, like that. Anyway, so I picked them up for next to nothing. I thought we'll grab them because I'm sure there's people out there that will need stuff that's either on them or has got stuff that will be able to complete the transformers that they're from. So then, getting back to the whole fact that I prefer Megatron over Op Optimus Prime, I bought him. Brilliant. Um, the lady wanted a pound. Yeah, a pound for this is pushing it in my eyes, especially at a car boot. I mean, I, you, you don't want to pay more than about 10p. Um, I'm pretty sure he glows in the dark, but he is a quality looking. That is a quality head. I'm liking that one. Um, so we haggled and undenied, and I think I paid about 70 pence. So it didn't break the bank. Uh, the next thing I got, and would be the last thing that I got at this particular car boot, was a Ninjago. Ninjago Master of Spin Jitsu. Um, a bit dubious about buying Lego at car boot sales. I mean, especially when the box is half open like this. Uh, you never know what bits are missing. But so far, all the minifigs are there. Um, we've got one of the serpents, which is pretty good. And we're building up the helicopter at the minute. So when it's finished, I will show you. Um, I did buy another Lego figure. This one's an Exo Force figure. Um, and he had all these bits, which was amazing. And it's even got this sort of freaky bit at the back where they've captured somebody and he's been either digested by it or uh, slowly rotted. Oh, there we go. Let's pull the whole thing to pieces. Good job. Excellent. Right. So there we go. So that was the car boot for Saturday. Um, I'll show you my car boot pickups for Sunday in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. You know, anything you see, let me know. Um, like, thanks, rate, subscribe, comment, all of that jazz. Uh, thanks for watching.